Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for simonsstamp.com and I have another Distress Combo for you and this one features Rustic Wilderness that I'm combining with Crackling Campfire, Seedless Preserves, and Fossilized Amber for a fall look. I'll be using regular Distress Sprays for this and I'm starting off with the Rustic Wilderness and I'll be spraying these directly onto the Layering Autumn Stencil from Tim Holtz using my Splat Box. I have some paper towels sitting underneath the stencil so I can soak up some of the excess and I'll start off with the Rustic Wilderness and I'm spraying randomly onto the stencil. Next I'll grab the Seedless Preserves and I'll spray this in some of the open areas. Crackling Campfire will be my next color and I'll still try to spray this into some of the open areas but I do want it to overlap a little bit so I am just barely spraying this just to get some color in between the other colors. And once I'm happy with that, I can move on to the fossilized amber. And for this, I'll fill in all the open spots and I can allow this to blend in with some of the other colors because it will blend nicely. For the transfer of color, I want to remove the stencil from the splat box. I'm laying it onto a clean paper towel. And next, I'll add some water using the mini mister and I just want to spray this lightly until I get the inks to bubble up. I have a sheet of Distress watercolor paper. I've just cut this in half and I'm laying it down with the smooth side facing the stencil. And I'm going to gently touch this down and rub it. I don't want to squish it in too much. And once I have that pressed down, I'm going to flip this over and remove the inked paper towel. And using my finger, I can press down on the stencil and make sure that I have good contact. And I'll put a clean paper towel on top and I'll try to soak up any of that ink that might ooze out from the opening of the stencil. And now we get to get ready for the big reveal. So remove the paper towel and I'm just going to dismount by holding the top of the stencil and pulling down towards me. And as you can see the colors are bright and beautiful and I can't wait to see how they look when they dry. My panel is all dry now and my paper's sitting really nice and flat and I still have really good vibrant colors and I have good combinations between all four of the colors. I also did a secondary sheet and I thought I would try to mist this with some more water so I could wick that ink in towards the opening of the stencils. So I have two cards that I'll be working with. I'm turning these into tags and the first thing I want to do is to remove the reinforcer circle around the whole of the tag. And next I'm using my Simon Says Stamp dot runner to add some adhesive to the back side of the tag. And I can press this face down onto the back of the watercolor paper. And I'm using my clean brayer and I'll roll over the back side and flip this over and I can run over the front side. And this will give me a really flat tag by applying pressure to both sides. And next I'll use my scissors to cut around and remove the excess watercolor paper. You could also use your paper trimmer. For some added detail, I'm going to use a gold pen and I'll be drawing in the leaves that are on the stencil and I've laid that stencil on the opposite side right back onto my watercolor piece and I'll just follow the lines of the stencil. Another detail that I'm adding is some metallic splats onto both tags and I'm using all the gold colors and I'm mixing those with a good amount of water and a very loose paintbrush and I'm just tapping over the surface. For larger splats, you'll want to load your brush up a little bit heavier, and smaller splats you can just tap on until you run out of paint. To finish these cards off, I have die cut thank you, and this is a CZ die, and it comes in three pieces. The words thank and you are separate, and then there is a shadow piece that you can set behind. I've cut my shadow piece using some vellum, and to finish the sentiments for my tags, I'm also using the Simon Says Stamp Thanks Reverse sentiment strips with a little bit of foam tape behind. I'll be adding some velvet ribbon to the tags and I'm using Simon Says Stamp glue and I'm just tapping this onto the tag about the width of my ribbon. Now I can just lay the trimmed ribbon right on top and press that down. And for the back side I can fold the pieces over by adding a little bit of dot runner adhesive and fold those over and press them down in place. Once the ribbons are in place, I'm adding some Simon Says Stamp glue just to some of the letters at about the area where they'll touch the ribbon. And then I can place my greeting right onto the tag and I can use an acrylic block as a weight to hold it in place until it dries. 
here's a look at tag number one with all those bright colors and my gold thank you at the bottom to finish out my sentiment. And finally, the second card where I misted that with water and I got a nice wicking effect where the inks flowed into the white areas from the stencil. I hope you've enjoyed this distress color combo where I've used Rustic Wilderness, Crackling Campfire, Seedless Preserves, and Fossilized Amber. Be sure to check out our blog post for additional information, and as always, thanks so much for watching.